Welcome to Small Bone to Pick, episode number one. I mentioned this back on uh, the episode on Monday, but this series was coming out. And this is going to be, every now and then, these, these are going to pop out. You know, when, when something sort of grinds my gears or I get really annoyed or frustrated about something, I'm just going to, going to sort of, I would say, rant off about it. And I'm just going to turn it into a podcast. So that these are going to be random. They're not necessarily going to be property related they might be about anything and everything it's just going to be a way to sort of vent that frustration and yeah normally i keep it to myself normally it's uh you know normally just keep it to myself but uh you know hey why not let's give it a trial on podcast uh see what happens again always your feedback's really useful if you like these let us know you know email robert tpn podcast.com if you don't like it and you think it's crap, again, not a problem. You know, let us know. We, we want to work with, you know, this works both ways. You know, we want to give you as much content, as great content and as applicable content as we can. At the same time, we want to give you what you want to listen to as well. So if you want more travel stuff, let us know. If you want more, you know, nitty gritty property stuff, let us know. If you want more ranty stuff, let us know. If you want longer episodes, let us know. Again, email address rob at TPM podcast. Com. So small bone to pick number one. This is fake wealth and fake social media. And this is all coming back off of a uh, article actually on, on the BBC that I saw last week. And it's about unexplained wealth orders. So the headline, suspected money launderer gives up £10 million of property. Now, I trust everything that you hear or read on the BBC with, with a pinch of salt, you know, they like making things a lot worse than things might actually be. But I was actually quite interested uh, in this article and I was a bit torn about it as well. Two reasons. Number one, we always say that, you know, we love capitalism or, you know, certainly if you're in property and so forth, love capitalism, tell everyone what you do, do this, do that, you know, photograph your life, document your life, video everything, etc., etc., etc. While I don't necessarily condone Oh, so you know, while a part of me, the socialist part of me, if there's such a thing exists, does condone what this guy has done, I do admire at the same time the capitalist side of it. The absolute balls to do this is fantastic. And again, I'm basing this on the fact that this article is 100% correct, which, again, caveat BBC, ugh, you know, take what, <laughs> take what you want from that, to be honest. So, yeah, in a, in a nutshell, an unexplained wealth order. So if people think you're wealthy and you, you know, how have you got there? How have you done it? Why have you done it? You know, there, these are new orders that can be found, that can be given. And uh, this guy in Leeds, and Mansour Mahmoud Hussain, has, has fallen foul of this. And BBC reports that, you know, he acted for gangsters, including a murderer and a drug trafficker. And that he uh, laundered profits through a property empire, mainly based in West Yorkshire. But the thing that got me, uh, the thing that I like the most about this is yeah, all of the social media accounts um, showing a high luxury living lifestyle involving high performance cars, executive jets, super yachts, you know, appearances at VIP events. And yeah, this, this sort of thing, this is why I hate the phrase fake it till you make it absolute horseshit that phrase and the reason for that is it's so easy to to give off this you know marmite persona that you're doing x y and z but actually behind the scenes you're being something completely different you're operating something completely differently there's a lack of congruence there and that's i think that's the thing that really irks me about that is the fact that there's no congruence yes it's easy to you know, hey, I'm out and about doing this, and oh, I've just met Beyonce, and oh, you know, look at my luxury yacht, and you know, this and that. And I was thinking, you know, really, yeah, I just, yeah, for me, you know, really, I'm not, you know, for me, it just all seems like absolute wishy-washy bullshit, and maybe that's my anti-social media sentiment coming through. So they say that these small bones to pick would be, uh, you know, very, very, very ranty, um, and so forth. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's just absolute, absolute bullshit, absolute bonkers, uh, to be honest. Um, oddly, though, they, again, this is BBC reporting. He's never been convicted of a crime, um, but they've had intelligence linking him to serious gangsters. So, you know, maybe he, he has legally obtained all these properties. Uh, who knows? I don't actually know. It's it, it's a bit difficult, but I, I love the balls that this guy has to be able to do that. But also appreciate that, you know, if things are a bit, uh, 
you know, things can get a bit wishy-washy. Things can get a bit, you know, higgledy-piggledy as well. And it also says that Mr. Sane has given up fighting the case against him and he's agreed a settlement in which he's handed over the vast majority of his empire, offices, apartments, etc, etc, etc. Fun times. It's just a really fun article to read. So I put a link in the show notes for it as well. And you know, what if, where is the bone to pick with this? You know, good question. Well, I'm going to go on both sides of the coin. Number one, you know, are unexplained wealth orders legal? Well, yes, they are legal. But, you know, is it is it the right thing to do? Because then, you know, we're going to be looking at every single person that has any form of wealth. We're just going to be pointing fingers. What, you know, how have you got to the position that you're in? And I think there's a danger here that there's a twofold danger that, you know, most people in this country, when they've got wealth, when they've, you know, they've got property, gold, silver, you know, other assets and whatnot, you know, a majority of the time they would have got it perfectly legally. Everything's absolutely fine. Everything's normal. So there's no issue there. So I think it's quite obtrusive if you get an, a, a UWO against you and you've obtained your wealth perfectly normally. There's nothing wrong with that. However, if you're doing a lot of shady shit and, you know, you listen to this podcast, you're a responsible listener, you know, you, you are a responsible person. So you're probably not doing any shady stuff. But if you are and you're posting about it all the time, it, that's, this is where the twofold thing comes in. Well, you know, my question is, if this guy hadn't been posting about all this shite online, would he have been found out? I don't know. Very unlikely. I mean, who knows? If he's not posting about all this stuff online, he might have never been found out. Maybe he's not done anything wrong in in the first place. Who knows? I, you know, the only actually might try and get him on the show. That'd be pretty awesome. Let us know if you want to hear that. So he's given up the case. He's handed back, oh, you know, ten million pounds worth of property. Um, so you know, which again, again, depends on what side of the fence you sit. Fair play for him handing it back, not giving it up. He's been left with a couple of properties. That's fine. But really. As the headline for this podcast suggests, don't believe everything you see on social media. Please don't. You know, uh, the last few months have not been overly active on, on social media. I'm looking to dumb that down personally on a personal level. Of course, you know, you'll see loads of regular updates on the, on the Property Nomads uh, podcast, Facebook page, Instagram pages, uh, that sort of stuff. So you, you, you'll always see updates from from the show, but not necessarily from, from myself. I just, you know, I'm, I'm against that. I want to live a quiet life. But fake it till you make it, bull crap. Don't do it. Not good. Because if you get found out, bad things can can happen to you. And, you know, if you want to live the life of Riley and you've you've done it properly and you've earned all it properly, then fine, and do whatever you want to do. But if you if there is something a bit shady there and you're flouting it about and you're faking it till you're making it, there, for me there's a lack of congruency there, so it doesn't sit well with me. But the key thing, don't believe everything you read and see on social media. Yes, it's easy for X, Y, and Z to be doing this, doing that, and I've just bought this property, I've just done this deal, I've just done this, blah, 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 blah. You know, fair play. Absolute fair play. But people are living all these luxury lifestyles and, you know, what what people love to do, people love to sell a dream. It's very easy to share a story. You know, we've lived off stories for years and years and years. It's very easy to sell a dream. It's very easy to sell a story. Just don't be so gullible to believe every single thing you read and see on social media. Also question everything as as well you know i'm still questioning people that are out and about doing loads of day-to-day you know activities at the moment uh, you know virus times and so forth so yeah, at the end of the day yeah, each each to their own everyone to their own um you know it is what it is like life is life is fun life's a bit screwed up as well uh, i think but um interesting article i say read it happy days um it's, it's two sides to the coin here uh, as well so yeah i want to explain well forward is actually a good thing uh yeah probably you know if you know there's a lot of criminal activity out there probably it's a good thing as you know but it might not be a good thing anyway small bone to pick not out just yet because that moves me on quickly to the second article which i thought was really really useful that it's worth just worth mentioning it's about bounce back loads so again bbc again don't always believe what you read. It says taxpayers may lose 26 billion on unpaid loans. Uh, loads of stories about people taking out loans, you know, illegally, dodgily setting up, you know, using other people's information to set up companies, uh, you know, fake companies to take out these loans. And, you know, they're never going to be paid back. And if they're not paid back, 
how do they get paid back? Well, you know, then you've got to be looking at, you know, ultimately it's going to fall on the taxpayer. That's what's going to happen. That's that's life. So again, I'm not going to condone. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's tough. You know, the capitalist part of me completely admires the absolute bollocks that some people have to be able to do that. It's not something you catch me doing, but, you know, fair play for people to be able to do that. You know, this sort of activity is always going to to, to occur and take advantage of goodwill, you know, rightly or wrongly. Secondly, the thing on that is that, yeah, ultimately... The, you know, the taxpayer is going to have to pay that back somehow. Now that's either going to be through inflation, or that's going to be through higher taxes. So yeah, again, you know, it's another government scheme that was a, a very good, you know, in principle. But has it been executed properly? Uh, we can argue about this all day long. So that's that's not the purpose about it. But uh, you know, in summary, small bone to pick. Uh, as I said at the start, it's going to be a complete ranty episode. There might not be any ridiculous structure to it. I'll try and improve that moving along down the line. If you want me to rant about something else, robertpmpodcast.com send send us an email. In fact, any feedback you've got from this, again, you know, leave us a comment on iTunes, send us an email uh, as well. Just trying something new out there. It's, as I said, it's going to be a good way for me to sort of get this autism out there as, as well. I do like to go off on complete rants that sometimes make no sense. We just thought we'd try it as a podcast episode. So the next small bone to pick, I don't know when it is, um, but you know, watch watch out for your podcast feed. It will drop in in due course. But in summary, don't read everything, or don't believe everything you see and read on social media. Half of it's bull crap anyway. Also, when you read articles on, on the BBC and other journals and other reporting, you know, just, just question it. Question both sides. Question the capitalist side. Question the socialist side as well. Uh, both articles, links are in the show notes. Go and check them out for yourself. Uh, let us know your thoughts as well. Also, check out the social medias. Uh, as of next week, what we are doing, we're going to uh, start doing Throwback Thursdays. So Aaron and I have started to uh, go through really old travel photos. And, uh, you know, at some point we'll, we'll turn the podcast into a travel podcast you know, years down the line. Once we're out and about, once we're able to get out and about there a lot more, we're going to turn it into more of a sort of travel podcast. So what we started to do, we started to reminisce over traveling times. And it's a, a great way to have a soft launch of introducing uh, you know, Aaron into the fold and, and everything like that. So watch out for that on the social media front. Also, we will be doing a weekly book recommendation as well. Uh, some of them property related, some of them business related. A lot of them are going to be about uh, economics um, you know, stoicism, these sort of things. So we're going to be doing a weekly book recommendation as well. Again, look out for the social media feeds for all of that. That's small bone to pick out. Until next time, I'll see you soon.